Hi there. Today I thought it would be fun to try an Italian wine. So we have um, a Chianti. It's a Chianti uh, Classico Reserva uh, from a producer called Geografico. Um, and uh, it, the brand is Monte Ghiacci. That's 2015. So um, Chianti Classico, the central region of the Chianti uh, producing um, part of Tuscany. Um, so you're between Siena and Florence. Um, the cooperative is actually based in a uh, little town of Gaiol, which is right in the heart of, um, I hope I'm saying that right, right in the heart of Chianti. Um, and Geografico are a cooperative. Um, also, they certainly were in 2015. They've actually been bought by a larger wine group, Piccini, um, over the last couple of years. Um, so there's hopefully there's some inward investment going on there. But they're, they're quite large producers. Um, and this is a readily available wine. It's very you know, quite popular. We, we see quite a lot of searches for it on Wine Searcher. Yeah. Um, so, uh, Chianti Classico. Um, we're looking at a wine that um, is uh, predominantly Sangiovese, uh, although this particular one has 10% of Merlot um, with 90% of Sangiovese. The colour, the colour's beautiful actually. It's a lovely sort of vibrant ruby red, by no means um, opaque. It's a sort of medium intensity. The aromas, the aromas, uh, there's well-integrated sort of spices, tiny touches of coffee, chocolate, mocha, maybe even meaty notes. Uh, there's red fruit coming through, sort of uh, lifted red currant and plum, um, red cherry, red cherry getting to red to black sort of levels of cherry. There's plenty going on there. It's all very well integrated. I mean... Um, uh, a, a Classico Reserva will have been aged for, for two years before release. This, this one's had um, 18 months in, in wood and then has had six months in barrel as well. Um, I'm talking about wood, but actually that's large oak, evidently that's predominantly uh, large body, so that's somewhere between one and 10,000 litres. So, so big, um, sorry, large tonneau. No, large body. Um, and the, the balance is aged in tonneau, and a tonneau is a 900 litre barrel. So the, the larger end of a barrel um, scale there. Um, so there's an oak influence, but it's not heavy. It's not sort of overt cedar and vanilla. It's it's much more um, in terms of how it um, has modified the fruit flavours, and uh, it all because it's been aged for the, that two years, um, all very nicely together. Tasting the wine. It's giving me exactly what I'm expecting from Chianti and that there's plenty of acidity dancing on the front palate. This is a mid-weight, fresh, exciting wine that's going to go beautifully with, with food because it'll cut through even the acidity on a tomato dish, for instance, which actually has quite a lot of acidity there. Um, maybe it's because I know there's Merlot in there, but there's a there's quite a plumminess that's rounding out the finish. So actually it's sort of it's adding a velvety texture as well to the tannins on the finish so they're not quite as angular as a, a pure sangiovese would be um but one of the functions of that actually is it's making it a little shorter than it would be i mean it, it, it's not a short wine but um i would normally expect a very long fine finish and this is more rounded and opulent on its finish um flavors are still lasting quite well but um you are sort of feeling the texture of the um, the tannins there that are you know beautifully velvety soft all nicely integrated again there are oak notes but then there are more developed oxidative notes that are keeping those lovely fresh flavors you know together and um, stopping the fruit from running away with the wine um, a real wine of gastronomy because of its its good acidity and its um, ability to cut through things, but also it's got a lovely complexity in there as well. So, um, you know, an impressive wine. Um, I think you often find Chianti Classico is really good value for money. I, I, I was looking at this in New Zealand. It's it's selling around thirty dollars, um, which is about uh, twenty dollars US. Um, probably closer to 15 maybe maybe to 15 20 in, in pounds in the uk so you know, a lot of wine for for a, a very good price and uh, something I, I i will certainly enjoy um so yeah 
hope you uh, try and enjoy Chianti in the near future. Bye now.